In this video, we're going to be covering what's known as Super Job number 57. Unlike the other guild jobs you may have done thus far, you actually have to have met certain requirements before you can even think about taking this job. First off, you have to have earned at least 250 merits from all the other guild jobs taken throughout the game. Secondly, you have to have, to have the God Hunter's Crest in your inventory. Don't sell it for anything. Now, if you do happen to meet these requirements and have gotten to the point in the story after the events of Fighting Undell, here's where you go to get the job. First, stop over in Indigos of East Aldia. Pay a visit to the guild there and head to the back room and talk to the person whose back is turned to you. She'll tell you that a new job has just arrived and tells you to head to a drawl. Time to fly to Milmana. Once in a jarl, head to the guild there and speak to the guy at the counter, and he'll give you the job. The client you're looking for should be at the inn, so head there and get the sea dragon egg from him. The job here is to return the egg to the shrine that's deep in the ocean. Problem is, you're not really given much help on how to get there. To make this journey, you're actually going to need something of a submarine. But there really isn't many lying around for you to use. So with that, there's only one person to turn to for help. So let's fly over to Diego's Isle and pay Vilmer a visit. Once you approach him to explain the situation, he'll go ahead and fix the sub that happens to have washed on the beach from Ilmana. He'll tell you it will take some time to fix it. Basically, all, you'd ha all you have to do is just leave Yegos Isle and do whatever planning you need to do before returning to find the now working submarine in the bay.
When you're ready, board the submarine and fire it up. This is where you will start a mini-game of sorts here. Elk will be given the role of pilot for this sub. As you start off, you'll be given a choice between dive and advance. For now, take a few dives. Eventually you will come across something dead ahead. Don't leave this to chance. Prepare for attack and fire. Once you're in the clear, keep diving no matter what. Eventually a torpedo will come after you, so fire decoy shot to distract it so you can quickly make your way into the shrine. Once inside, select a good fighting party. Or you could do what I usually did and take Ark for his weak enemy ability as well as whoever else you decide. Either's fine. Once you've made your decision, hopefully you got your party at a high enough level. Because these enemies here range in the levels between the high 90s and low 100s. No joke. Which is why it would be crucial to at least have Ark for his weak enemy ability and Choco would be a good idea to use as well with all her powerful abilities. At the start, make your way up the middle path till you get to the next room with the huge gap with a narrow pathway. A doorway will then open for you, so make your way up north. You'll notice the scientist that will demand the egg you're holding. If you give it to him, then consider this job a bust as you won't get the full bounty, if any for that matter. Ask him why, and I think you may not be as willing to give if you had any thoughts of doing so to begin with. Keeping the egg triggers a battle with the golem and some of his pet slimes. Go after the two orange ones first, as they pose the most threat to you here, especially considering that they can cast death on you. While the spell may have a habit of not working very much, don't take any chances. 
They also have a tendency of sacrificing themselves as a suicide bomb, so keep your guard up. As for the rest, catch as many in a group as possible with weak enemy and keep your HP up until the rest are gone.
With the battle over, head down the stairs to find a couple more golems demanding the egg from you still. This time you'll be dealing with dark slimes as well. They aren't as bad as the last batch since the worst they can really do is blind you with their dark breath. Same method applies from before on taking care of them.
その通りに行くぞ。これなら行ける。この通り、あいつ燃えろ。After the fight is done, another set of stairs will lead you down one more floor. By this point, you should have reached the bottom where the nest is. The scientist will make one last demand for the egg. I think at this point you should know what to do here. This last battle will pit you against a different golem and a lot more slimes this time. With the suicide slime bomber stuck in the water here, try saving those guys for last. Meanwhile, concentrate on getting mostly the other slimes as well as the golem that will start making its way towards you. Group attacks are a must here, so don't be afraid to go all out if you haven't done before already.
Once the fight is done, the egg gets placed in its nest. Your job is now done. Give yourself a pat on the back and go claim your well-earned bounty. Job 57 may be finished, but we're not quite done with these ruins just yet. But that will be saved for another video. See you guys next time.